Okay, so Project Mud John. Project Mud John is the, you know, the boat build. I've been trying to build this stinking boat for like the past two years. <laughs> let, me, let me tell you what happened. Um, well, I was crunching some numbers this morning and I had someone, someone who recently bought the plans for Project Mud John. I don't know if you can even see that. Um, I've been trying to build a John boat for my Thai long tail something that would be better suited for a tie long tail. It's just been hampered by a lot of things. I'm still planning on finishing it. One, I had a lot of footage for the class because I never finished fleshing out the whole class on Teachable. If you're interested, the line drawings are up on Teachable right now. You can get them and download them right now. That's why I kept it at the low introductory price because, you know, it, but I had a I had a good bit of footage, but I lost a hard drive. My big three terabyte hard drive just crashed and I lost, basically I have none of last year's footage. It's just all gone. I had to start all over. All right, second thing is, I wasn't convinced that very many people were interested in buying plans to build a Thai long tail John boat. So I just got the line drawings finished to my satisfaction at that point and I put them up there and I just let's, let's just see if people would be interested in buying. Then I would progress with fleshing out the class too. I didn't know if I was going to put the whole class on Teachable or on YouTube or how I was going to sort that out in my own brain. And three, I just, uh, as I've been building it and as I've been going back through some boat building books that I've had, um, and I just bought this one, I realized that I'm not convinced that the instant boat method here John Mikalak, uh, Jim Mikalak, or Mikalak, I don't know how you pronounce it. Okay. It's a good primer book on boat building. This method is just, you use department store plywood, okay, and you take everything and you just sort of stitch it together or or put it together via chine logs or stitch it together via uh, stitching glue, you know, with, and, and, and I realize I am never going to have a plum, true, straight boat using this method of building it with the tools and the things that I have here. It's just not going to be straight. It'll be a decent boat. You see how he has it laid out here? If you go look at the Mud John homepage on Teachable, you'll see a very similar layout to the plans that I have here. The problem is I'm not convinced, I guess probably that's better in focus there. I'm not convinced that that's going to be a, a, for at least for me, that's going to be a way to build the boat in a, to make the boat true and plumb. So I started studying strip canoe building. You see how this wood strip canoe, you know, these little thin little three quarter inch wide strips of, of, of to build it there. Just been studying, it's just a different boat building method. There's a canoe, but it's got a square back to it. And I said, huh, isn't that interesting? And he also says here, this is by Gil Gilpatrick. Okay, he mentions here that uh, the result was a big canoe, certainly not of the size and shape lend itself to be uh, to paddle power, but was able to achieve, was able to handle of a motor of up to 10 horsepower and be steady and reliable on a big lake. And I thought, hey, man, maybe I should just build a Grand Laker canoe. And it, it actually comes with, oh, sorry, it comes with the plans, right? Which is great, right? And I thought, you know, I mean, I don't feel right about taking his plans and charging people and showing a boat of me building a boat that's not the design that I originally came up with. I would be nice to have that. And I thought, yeah, I just don't feel good about doing that. I mean, these are his plans. I'd rather just take that time and develop into my boat, my particular design. But the strip build method has been around a long time. It's really about the closest thing we have today to the old birch bark canoe method. They're little thin strips that are built onto a strong back, right? And that strong back is plumb straight. It's plumb and it's straight. It's not warped and twisted. You'll have a straight boat if you build a strong back and you have these station forms and then you just you just layer up these little thin strips of plywood. Uh, not plywood, but these little thin strips of... Um, see? These little thin strips of wood on it. Right? And then you just fiberglass the inside and out. 
See, now you can have a boat of any shape, right? You're not limited to just square shapes. Now, the John boat I'm gonna build is gonna be square. That's just because John boats are square. And it's designed to be a planing hull, so it needs to be full aft. Uh, you end up with this boat that's just perfectly well fiberglassed in and out, right? It's just a matter of adding support ribs, bracing, things like that until you flesh the whole boat out. And I personally believe that the John boat is probably the closest thing that we have, a narrow long John boat is the closest thing we have in the Western world to a sandpan that the Thai long tails were originally designed for, the sandpan. It's basically a canoe shaped John boat or John boat shaped canoe, but they're very long and narrow because the design is still up here but the data is lost on the old hard drive. So I'm having to sort of recreate everything from my brain. So we got the trot in and so on. And that's what happened with Project Mudjohn. Still up there, I'm gonna be working on it. And in, in this is a little bit of a channel update as well. I really want the YouTube channel to be about the fishing and the adventures I'm having on the river. So it's more of a, the channel's become more of a film channel almost. It's the Mud Runner series and the Juggins series. Those are the two primo pieces of content. And then I give updates like this as needed as people ask questions and then, and, and product updates, things like that. And then various how-to videos that relate to the adventures like you know you know how it is you're you're going to the river you can't see it's early in the morning you know well, that's what the bug spray video was about you know it's just things to help you with while i could put this on to the youtube channel looking at the numbers looking at actual data people are not really watching this they're not watching the how-to stuff as much as the um is the river adventure stuff and the fishing stuff. So that's gonna be the main thing and everything else will be derived from that. And then this, the the documenting of me making Project Mud John, or what I'm calling the GDD2, and Dorch is the family name. So named it after my mom, the GD, the Grand Duchess of Dorch 2. So I'm revising the boat and I'm gonna re-envision the online class on Teachable. That's that's what I was wanting to tell you, and that's, um, and I'll just, 